Hi everyone, welcome you all. This is Pawan. So in this testing, uh, in this video, uh, we are going to discuss about the system testing. So in the previous videos, I have talked about uh, different levels of testing. So what are those levels? Unit testing we have discussed. Then we have discussed about integration testing, and then we have this. Uh, and we now we are going to discuss about system testing, then UAT testing. So these are the levels of testing, different levels of testing. And also we have discussed about unit testing and integration testing are comes under the white box testing techniques. System testing and UAT testing are comes under the black box testing techniques. So now in this video, I'm more focusing on system testing and UAT testing. So what is system testing? This is a black box testing technique. So what do we test this? Uh, what uh, do we uh, what kind of testings we perform as part of system testing so testing overall functionality of the application with respect to client requirement or customer requirement that's the main intention of system testing so what is system system is nothing but the complete software or complete application is called as a system so we need to test each and everything with respect to customer requirement whether it is working according to customer requirement or not so testing overall functionality of the application with respect to customer requirement that's called as a system testing it is a black box testing technique so as i said earlier we don't need to test the code we don't need to know the programming what the developer written developer has written inside so this is purely black box testing technique because we don't know internally what happens only with very high level how the customer is used that application so those scenarios we will test so that's the reason we call this as a black box testing technique and this testing is conducted by the testing team so here unit and integration testing normally done by the developers because they know the code and system and uad testings are black box testing techniques so these testings are conducted by the testers or qa team along with the uat uat will perform by the users or customers customers will do the user acceptance testing because as per their uh, requirement whether our product is working according to their requirement or not they also test in their environment so that comes under the UAT part now it is a black box testing technique system testing and this is conducted by the testing team it is conducted by the testing team there is a dedicated team is required here because they need to understand complete requirements they will write the test plan test cases and execute them finding out the defects so all the tasks will be part of here and then before conducting the system testing we should know the requirement because until unless we know the requirement how the application is behaving we cannot test anything we should know each and every flow of the application and what are the different inputs we have to provide what is our expected uh, output should get so all these things we should have a clear picture and then only we can perform system testing effectively now system testing mainly focuses on these are the areas so under system testing as a tester we will perform user interface testing called as a gui testing functional testing non functional testing and usability test so these are all comes under the system testing and again each and every category there are so many types of testings we have functional testing non functional testing usability testing there are so many testings we have but we will discuss these in detail in the coming uh, videos but for now let's understand these are the four categories of testings we will complete we will conduct as part of the system testing so user interface testing functional testing because functionality of application means uh, behavior of application non functional testing like uh, performance testing security testing recovery testing all these comes under the non functional part and usability testing means uh, documentation part or any help documents are provided by the application or not so will be tested so these are all comes under the system testing okay so system testing means testing overall functionality of the application with respect to the customer it is a black box testing technique it is conducted by the testing team and uh, before conducting the system testing we should know the requirements completely okay remember this so this is all about system testing so we are going to discuss uh, these type of setting what is function testing non function testing usable time in detail in the coming sessions now let's focus on the last time uh, last type of uh, testing uat we have done unit testing integration system and now i'm discussing about uat testing 
So after completion of the system testing, UAT team conducts acceptance testing in two different levels. So UAT will start once you have system testing is completed by the QA team. So QA team will complete the testing, normal system testing, and now they will hand over the build or software to the next team. It's called as a UAT team, user acceptance testing team. Here there will be some users or customer people or will be involved in this. So this team will perform the user acceptance testing on the application. So they will test their use cases, whether our, work, our software is working according to their requirement or not, they will test. So that is all part of, uh, that's called as a user acceptance testing. So in this testing, they do uh, user UAT testing in two different levels like alpha testing and beta testing and all. So alpha testing means they will test our application in our environment and uh, beta testing means uh, our application they will test in their environment as a trial okay and sometimes the customer will also release uh, beta versions to the market to find uh, uh, some defects okay initial level but this is not stable build so again if customers or users found some defects again we need to fix them and again we'll release one more version so beta is a not a stable version this is a, like a, a trial or sample version of the software will release to the market or customer Okay, so user acceptance testing is connected in two different levels, alpha testing and beta testing. So with this, we have done with the four types of uh, four levels of testing. Unit testing we discussed, integration testing we discussed, system testing, and this is a UAT testing. So unit testing and integration testing done by the developers, and this comes under the white box testing technique. System testing and UAT testing is done by the QA plus UAT team, this comes under the black box testing techniques. But if you want to do unit and integration testing, we should know the code and we should have any clear clarity on the requirement plus design document. But if you want to perform system testing and UAT testing, we should also have clear clarity on the requirement and uh, flows of the application, all the functionality of the application. Okay, that's the more important thing. Okay, so this is all about system testing and user acceptance testing. So that's all for this video. So thank you all. Please subscribe my channel to get more updates on this.